So if y'all haven't heard, Shannon Sharp just got caught shoving his Sharpie in the Sharpie Sharpener on IG Live. Now, if you don't know what I mean, he basically got caught clapping cheeks on Instagram Live. Not gonna lie, it was very funny. Definitely a big mistake by him. It's not really a big deal. Like, who really cares? He's just clapping cheeks. Everybody has sex except for me. No, I, I have sex sometimes. It's been dry, but you know, I do my fair share of cheek clapping. But either way, it's definitely a bit embarrassing. If you guys haven't watched it, it's very funny. Uh, you don't see anything in the Instagram live. It's just like a blank wall, but you do hear a lot of sex noises and some of them are very interesting to say the least. Uh, at one point, I think I heard like a growl. <laughs> I think this is the part where he's like, oh shit, I was live. So I didn't show the whole clip there. Everything before what I showed was like the main like, mm, mm. just not worth getting my own cheeks clapped by YouTube and getting my shit demonetized or whatever. So I just showed the end there, but at the end I did laugh because it was like, <laughs> like it sounded like a couple thrusts from my boy Shannon. Uh, and then you see him like, look at the phone and he's like, oh fuck. Like you don't see his face, but you see like him end the live and that's gotta be brutal, man. His heart must have dropped. So after all that happened, he went on Instagram and claimed that he was hacked. And he said, you know, I have a team looking to get to the bottom of this. Stay tuned, like it wasn't me. And you know how the internet is, bro. Like people will do everything to find the truth. These people on the internet, bro, the internet detectives, they go hard trying to get to the bottom of it. And people were saying like, yo, this is Shannon Sharp's room. We've seen this wall before, shit like that. I don't know the full story, but I guess people were saying like, nah, you didn't get hacked, bro. This was you. And eventually he came out and admitted it. He said, you know what? It was me. But, but to have your most intimate detail on the audio to be heard, I'm disappointed in myself. I let a lot of people down, uh, my kids, um, I reached out to them, I called them, I called my sister, uh, my friends, obviously my friends reached out. All right, so I know that I said it's very funny, uh, but I do wanna say I feel bad for him. He is embarrassed and it is a very embarrassing thing. You know, the only reason I'm laughing about it is cause it's not a big deal. You know, like everybody understands that people have sex. People are smart, like this isn't a big deal. Like I said, it's not like he, did this was with like an underage girl and it was a fucked up situation you know and especially after how positively everybody reacted to the whole sketch situation about like previously doing only fans with other guys like people supported and people realized like bro it's really not a big deal so that's the only reason why i'm laughing it's like come on it's a it's a little bit funny it's my boy unk clapping cheeks on ig live like that shit's fucking hilarious to be honest but i do want to say like i probably shouldn't be laughing about it and i uh, sympathize with Shannon Sharp and I do feel bad and I will try not to laugh about it anymore. I don't even know how the fuck that happens. It seems like it was one of those things where like, yo, I'm just gonna like get my name in the news, go viral for a couple days just to keep himself relevant. I know a ton of celebrities do that. Like, you know when Speed's cock flopped out of his pants on uh, Twitch? A lot of people were saying like he definitely did that on purpose just to go viral, you know? So I don't even know like what's an accident, what's on purpose nowadays. And after a while, Jamie uh, uh, Fritz, who's been my longtime marketing guy, he finally got through to me and he said, uh, Shannon, you on IG Live. He says, uh, they can hear. I said, hear me doing what? He said, it sounds like you were having sex. Man, my heart sank. It dropped. All right, so after watching that, um, I feel really bad for him. Shannon Sharp seems like a very genuine guy. I've watched him for years and years back when I was in high school. He does seem like a very cool, nice, genuine guy, and uh, that, that actually kind of hit me hard right there. He seemed very upset, very embarrassed by it, so no more laughing about it. I'm done. It was funny at first, but it's not funny anymore. That must be very very tough to deal with you know when you're a big personality like that and everything you do just gets broadcasted to the world uh, in, in this case uh broadcasted himself but when you're a big personality like that you gotta be very careful like there was one time where i was live streaming and i'm not 
you know, even close to how big Shannon Sharp is. I got like fucking a thousand followers or a thousand subscribers on YouTube. But there was a time where I was live streaming and I forgot to shut it off. And I went downstairs, made some chicken nuggets, and I came back upstairs, sat in my chair, threw on a YouTube video when I was like high as balls, just eating these chicken nuggets like a menace. And thank God I didn't do anything reckless. Thank God I didn't like shove my finger up my nose and start like scratching my brain. You know what I mean? Thank God I was just eating some chicken nuggets. But when I realized I was live, I was like, oh shit, fucking ended the live right there. So I can't even imagine how I would feel if I look, if I'm like clapping cheeks and I look over and it says I'm live and I'm like, so I, I do feel really bad for him here and I'm, I'm done laughing about it. I said, I just got to tell him the truth. My phone wasn't hacked. Uh, it wasn't an, it wasn't a prank. It was me being a health, healthy, active male. I mean, y'all thought I was bull jiving. Hey, hey, I'll get it in. All right, so now I don't feel too bad about laughing about it because Shannon Sharp is a goon. Shout out to him for telling the truth. Takes a lot of balls to do that. And he puts a little comedic spin on it. He's a funny ass guy, bro. He's like, I'm getting it in. So I don't really feel that bad about laughing about it. He thinks it's funny. It's funny. Also, shout out to ESPN for not giving Shannon Sharp any disciplinary actions. It's literally not a big deal. No reason to discipline him. It was on his own time. He made a little mistake. So shout out ESPN. Now, what we do got to work on is ain't nothing wrong with your hips, you know, but we got to work on your cardio because you was, you was breathing heavy. You shouldn't be breathing that heavy. You shouldn't be breathing that heavy. So we got to work on your cardio. So Ocho. That had to be some of the funniest shit I've heard in a long time, man. Ocho Cinco is funny. We got to work on your cardio is crazy. You were kind of short too in there too, huh? I mean, you was that about what a minute, 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 five seconds? Oh no! Oh no! Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> no. Hey, this ain't no YouTube short, but it's a full feature. So I'm not gonna dwell on this situation too long. I just think it's absolutely hilarious. Shout out to Shannon Sharp for just telling the truth and remaining in good spirits. You know, it must be very embarrassing for him, but he is spinning it around and turning it into a joke. I'm sure that he made a shitload of money on his YouTube video too, the one with uh, Ocho Cinco where he first addresses it. He probably made a ton of money on that too, so who fucking cares, eh? Once again, it's your boy Tony Sauce. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'd like to hear your opinions as well on this situation, so drop the comments below. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.